truly excited to be on a new network and a new platform in a new conditioning, uh, new health. And I'm just excited, you know, 22 months out, I forgot what it felt like. I've been to several fights in my off time, but I forgot what it felt like to have my own fight week, to have you guys all come out. And I know the fans are always saying, when's the champ gonna be back? When's the champ gonna be back? Saturday night, baby, we're here, Brooklyn, I'm back. You're back and you're back against a tough opponent, Josecito Lopez. Josecito, have you ever not been the underdog in a fight? <laughs> yeah, it's hard to say. Uh, <laughs> you know? uh, I'm always in, in, in tough battles, um, but I don't shy away from them. I know I'm in a, in a tough fight this weekend, but I'm more than ready for it. You said you trained at elevation, I think, for this fight at altitude, right? Is that accurate? Um, your coach is not going to be here for this fight. He has a, a personal obligation. Is that going to be an issue for you? No, it's not an issue. In training camp, uh, we train uh, in, a, in a family atmosphere. So I got the boxing guru, Mr. Big G, here with me, uh, along me. And, uh, you know, uh, we might have a little surprise for you uh, come this weekend with uh, some virtual image of my trainer, Robert Garcia, here. All right, we're looking forward to it. Adam, let's go to you. Uh, obviously, you have your Polish roots, but you're a Brooklyn boy fighting at Barclays Center on Fox. Do you have to kind of pinch yourself? Yeah, for sure. Uh, I was born in a small city in uh, Womża, Poland. Came to the States when I was seven. Uh, and uh, every day, just every fight keeps getting bigger and bigger. I'm now in the co main event in Barclays Center. I mean, I remember when they were first putting it up. And I was like, I was an amateur. And I was like, I can't wait to fight here. And now I'm a co main event. Hopefully by the end of the year. I'll be the main line, you know? So that's the goal. I read that you, you said you sparred like a thousand rounds for this fight. Is that accurate? Uh, I sparred over a thousand rounds with my friend Joe Miller, but yeah. uh, we knew each other since 15. But uh, for this fight, I overdid 150 rounds. So, so why, gonna... why the difference? No, with Joe Miller, uh, somebody I knew for a while. Yeah. So we uh, grew up together since the amateurs. So we always helped each other prepare for fights. So we did over a thousand rounds together. <laughs> but uh, for Got this it. fight, uh, we did. Uh, who did you Who did you train with? Uh, Mike for, Coffey, uh, Nicole Solomon, and uh, Big Baby Drill Miller. All right, let's take it over to your opponent. You obviously are coming in off of a win, but you have had some big losses to some big names, Deontay Wilder, Miller. What do you take from those losses that have made you a better fighter? Those were just great learning opportunities for me. You know. I started my career late. I was 30 years old after I went to the military and went to college. And I've just been learning on the job. So every time I step in the ring, it's another, it's another learning opportunity for me. Win, lose, or draw, I gotta, I gotta take something from that. And I, I've, I've had the experience now. I went to school and I'm prepared for this for Saturday night. All right, we'll take it over to you, Claudio. You have called out guys like Gary Russell, Leo Santa Cruz, your, your manager tells me they, they don't want to take the fight with you. This is an eliminator fight. Do you feel as though you don't just have to win, but you have to win in impressive fashion in order for them to pay attention? Tú piensas que tiene que ser espectacular en esta pelea para que ellos entonces te den la oportunidad. Pienso que sí, pienso que sí. Buenas tardes a todos aquí, al equipo de Ajeno, a todo su equipo. Eh, sí, pienso que sí, que ellos me andan corriendo hace mucho ya y pienso que tendré que ganar otra pelea más eh, explosivamente como siempre lo hago eh, y dándole a, a mi público lo que ellos lo que ellos quieren que, que quieren ver de mí y eso y seguir ganando como yo siempre gano. Hey, good afternoon to everybody here. Uh, thanks to Al Heyman also and um, he says yes, he has to win explosive like he always has in his fights, uh, so these guys don't keep running, that he wants the big guys. All right. We'll see when you take on this guy on Saturday night. Do you think this is the biggest test for you two, Stu? Yeah, it is my biggest big okay. fight in my career. You haven't fought a southpaw as a pro. Yeah, Who'd, first time. First time. Southpaw. Who did you bring in to prepare for this guy? Oh, I'm training a couple southpaw guys. Uh, we're ready to, to fight. Looking forward to it. I think like uh, in any, uh, any boxer's uh, 
confidence level. It's the preparation. You know, I, I feel like I'm at a at a championship level, and uh, I've prepared well for this fight. And uh, you know, I'll have no excuses at the end of the night, no matter what the outcome. You know, in preparation for a fight, you also look at bad habits, um, some mistakes that you make. You know, it's uh, he's undefeated, so it's tough to to find a, a losing fight, but. He's been in some, in some fights that, that have shown some of his weaknesses. So, uh, you know, you prepare mentally just as you do physically. First fight I ever lost was a fight I wasn't nervous about. So I like to carry some nerves with me in every fight. Keith, I have another question for you. Obviously, coming off with the, the elbow surgery and, and the hand injury, do you think there'll be any hesitation in your game because of that? No, there shouldn't be any um, hesitation. We took this fight because we're prepared in that. Uh, we're ready now. So if anything was to occur, if I was to um, feel some bumps and bruises in the fight, uh, the fighters have, you know, um, even uh, when I fought Robert Guerrero, uh, I fought with a hematoma, you know, so uh, the boxing world should know by now with the hematoma, with the body shot I took against Luis Colazzo, that, you know, Keith Thurman is a hard egg to crack, you know, and uh, I had the bone spurs while I was fighting Danny Garcia, so no matter what shape I'm in, when it's time to go to war, we fight. Jose Cito, you've been in this situation. We, we referenced that. I, I was actually working ringside at the Victor Ortiz fight when you came back in the ninth round and, and broke his jaw and shocked the world. Do you think that he's aware of that? Do you think he's overlooking you in any way for this fight? Or do you think he respects you and he, he's ready for the Jose Cito Lopez that's going to show up on Saturday? I'm not sure if he's aware or if he uh, has any doubts or fears, but... Whatever the situation is, come fight night, it'll show in the ring. Um, you know, I just know that I've prepared for the best Keith Thurman that I've seen, and I'm at a championship level, and I'm going to prove that on Saturday. All right, well, we are looking forward to it. That's going to do it from the Barclays Center at the press conference. Kate, we will send it back to you in L.A.